Well, new at five, the Justice Department has reached a tentative settlement with the Mobile County Sheriff's Office over a lawsuit alleging supervisors at Metro Jail turned a blind eye to sexual harassment. Our Brendan Kirby is on this story. Joining us now from Metro and Brendan, you spoke with the sheriff and he's not happy with it, you say. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Shelby. Sheriff Paul Birch says that the sheriff's office didn't turn a blind eye to sexual harassment, but he says when managing prisoners, there's only so much you can do. The case began with an Equal Employment Opportunity Commission complaint filed by female corrections deputies. They alleged that the sheriff's office failed to respond to repeated sexual harassment by male inmates. The Justice Department picked up the case in 2021 and filed a federal lawsuit. Both sides have asked U.S. District Judge Chrissy DeBose for a fairness hearing within 100 days to determine if there are objections to the proposed settlement. Mobile County Sheriff Paul Birch says he personally hasn't signed off on the final agreement and remains frustrated over the suit. I think it's frivolous. However, the it's, it's basically a money grab by some former employees and, and attorneys. The terms of the $2 million settlement break down like this. Each named plaintiff would get $35,000 in compensatory damages plus attorney's fees. The rest of the money, more than $1.4 million, would go into a fund to pay other victims. Women who worked as jailers from January 2011 to this past Sunday could get compensation if they could demonstrate that they suffered harassment. The proposed settlement also contains a wide array of steps the sheriff's office is supposed to take to prevent future harassment, from making it easier to file EEOC complaints to training employees on how to respond to complaints. Sheriff Birch says the department already does most of those things. He says the DOJ doesn't appreciate how difficult it is to manage unruly prisoners who have little to lose. They never offer any kind of solution to prevent it because you can't prevent it. And you can't prevent someone who's either there with um, some, some mental or emotional issues or people who are there for violent crimes who are awaiting you know, long-term sentences. They don't really care about you know, punishment. Sheriff Birch says that the department has already put in place some deterrence, like setting up a designated area to house inmates who have sexually harassed or assaulted staff. Those inmates are required to wear pink uniforms even after they return to the general population and on subsequent jail bookings. Reporting live from Metro Jail, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.